All right, welcome back. We're looking at the solution for April 16th, as well as introducing the daily question for today, for the 20th. So I'm gonna look here at my question. This is, and I wrote it out, I gave you two parts. So the first, the cost of school banquet is $95 plus $15 for each person attending. Write an equation that gives the total cost as a function of the number of people attending. Now I know I'm using the numbers 95, the number's 15, and remember it's asking me in this first part to just write an equation. I'm not solving, I'm just following what this is asking. So it's 95 plus 95 for each. That tells me that I am multiplying. So to start out, I'm gonna write my equation. I'm gonna do it in slope intercept form because I like just using y and x. So if the cost is y, y equals, it's $95 plus $15 for each. So my 15, it's 15x plus 95 because the total cost is $95 plus 15 for each. So my $95 does not change, that remains constant. What does change is this coefficient of 15, 15x, my coefficient and my variable. My variable x, depending on how many people there are, this, this, number, this number is going to change. But 95, that is the flat rate. If nobody shows up but you still want to rent out the room, it starts out at $95 and goes up from there. We can't have negative people, um, can't have people like back out. It starts at zero and it goes up from there. So if nobody shows up, the cost is $95 just to rent the space. But depending on how many people are there, it's 95 plus a number that changes with the amount of people that show up. So the second part, part B, asks what is the cost for 77 people? Well, I'm gonna use my equation here, y equals 15, and instead of x, I'm plugging in number 77 plus 95. So from here, I'm just going to follow PEMDAS, I'm gonna solve. So I've got y equals 15 times 77 gives me 1,155 plus 95. And then 1,155 plus 95 equals 1,250. And then I go back into my equation, or into my question, what is the cost for 77 people? Now, since this is I'm, get, I'm assuming this is taking place in the United States because we have a dollar sign here. So my equation, my, cost, my y is actually $1,250. So in order to rent out the space for 75 people, it's gonna cost $1,250. So part A was to write the equation, I did that. Part B was to solve if we are given a set number of people. Now it's possible to start out with a cost, say we have a budget of $1,000, say that the school can only provide $1,000 for budget. So we could take that and solve this for the number of people. So if we start with $1,000, Fifteen x plus ninety five. We could solve backwards and figure out how many the most amount of people we could serve, and the most amount of people we could host at this banquet. But that's not what was asked for in this question. We could do it, but we don't have to. So, great job, and I look forward to seeing how well you did on this. Now, I'm gonna clear all of my drawings and go on to today's question. Today's question. 
this is one that's involving real life. I'm actually, it's actually, I went on, I researched, found these numbers about Lehigh County, where I live. So in the year 2000, the average price of a home in Lehigh County was $1,000. By 2010, the average price of a home was close to $150,000. Write an equation for the price of a home P in Lehigh County as a function of the year T. Now, in order to solve this, it doesn't tell you this, but this is going to take a couple of steps. This is a multiple part assignment. In order to write an equation for the price of a home, as a function of the year, and starting in the, with the year 2000, we're actually gonna use all of these numbers in one way or another. So if I think back to the previous question, it said that in order to rent, we started at $95. Well, I'm gonna give you a hint. Your equation is going to be P equals something plus 100,000. You are going to need to use 150,000, 100,000, 2,000, and 2,010. I'm also gonna tell you that you're using T as your variable. What you need to figure out in order to complete this question, in order to complete this assignment, is figure out what number is going to be your coefficient and why. So we're going to use this is I would like to use this to try and make some predictions and try and see if this was actually a linear function based on actual prices. So tomorrow we're going to look at this again, but I want you to try your best to write this equation that would give the price of a home in Lehigh County starting with the year 2000 as a function of the year. And we're going to use T as our variable to represent the year. So good luck. Like always, if you have any questions, please come and find me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.